Gamers of Reddit, what video game has the best storyline? Disco Elysium is the best book I've ever played. Narrator, the words have already left your mouth. I want to make duck with you. That's an actual line? I'm about to buy that game now. I'm jealous that you'll get to experience it for the first time. It's a real treat. I suggest going in as blind as possible, though I do have two non-spoiler tips I always give new players. 1. Take the time to go through the custom character options prior to starting the game. 2. Don't be afraid of failing or getting weird with it. I put so much time and thought into the options when I started for the first time, only to die of shame by rejection like 5 minutes in lol. I died after kicking a mailbox the first time. I died after failing to punch a child. I died because I listened to my necktie. Didn't even make it 10 feet from where the game starts. Grim Fandango. You're a travel agent for the afterlife, where corruption and crime are rampant. Edit, gracias for the awards comrades. Viva la revolution. I loved Bioshock, but Mass Effect was also awesome. It's funny because those two games are like the exact opposite when it comes to the approach of video game storytelling. In one hand leaning into the objective-based interactive medium to say that choice is pointless and free will is a lie. As it poked and mocked at the ideology of objectivism. And on the other hand a game where you play as an interstellar space captain whose choices are meant to be so important and impactful they alter the fate of entire civilizations of alien beings. I guess it's a bit like, I like action movies but romances are good too. Mass Effect is a decent dating sim with an excellent epic space opera action RPG shooter minigame tacked on. Will Bang, okay? Shepard. Rex. I should go. I'm Commander Shepard and this is my favorite comment in this thread. There have been numerous games with awesome storylines, Mass Effect, Dragon Age. But, one of the best? Knights of the Old Republic. Bioware, Bioware, and would you look at that? Bioware. Edit, Jesus Christ, y'all. Old Bioware, I get it. Red Dead Redemption 2. Outer Wilds. Such a masterpiece. Sadly it is a one-time experience, but such a beautiful experience. In case you never heard of it just please do yourself a favor and google nothing. Everything is a spoiler. Even Steam Description has a minor spoiler which when I played did not know about and it blew my mind. Fallout, New Vegas no matter which way you decide to go, it's a great, entertaining storyline. Ever since I played that game a couple years ago I haven't had another game scratch the same itch. Probably largely had to do with Chris Avalone's writing but the dialogue options in that game were so hilarious and great. One thing I remember specifically is that you're supposed to train recruits at one point how to fight with guns and grenades and if your ordnance and firearm skills aren't high enough you can only give them shitty inept advice. Like you tell them don't waste bullets trying to hit one target, shoot wildly. And shit like that. Sneering imperialist whatever. Joshua, put a cap in general gobbledygook here one of my favorite dialogue options lol. You're a little bitch and your brother was, too. I laughed so hard when I've seen this option in the English version. I sometimes just randomly remember it and laugh, the humor in this game is incredible. They asked me if I had a degree in theoretical physics. I told them that I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said welcome aboard. I love the story in Hades. The developers found a seldom used historic character and thoughtfully developed him into a full, fleshed out character that fits so perfectly in the larger Greek mythos. As well just having excellent overall writing, I think Hades has a fantastic and open-ended storyline. Portal and Portal 2 Stephen Merchant was such a strange but absolutely perfect choice for Portal 2. Hey buddy I'm speaking in an accent that's beyond her range of hearing. Look, metal ball, I can hear you. Run, I don't need to do the accent, run. Soma. Soma was a life-ruining experience. 1010. I had a mental breakdown, was hospitalized and still can't sleep without a nightlight, it has a little something for everyone. 1010. Chrono Trigger. Edit, wow. All you guys, I want you all to know that even though we may never meet, 
we are brothers for life. To far away times long ago brothers. Witcher 3 Deus Ex Not many games have achieved such compelling and mature story. Story on sequels felt just too Hollywoodish. I do badly want a remake of this game. Exact same script, but with more added. With modern visuals. One can dream. Edit I see a few of you are saying Therese mods. I have seen them. While they certainly do enhance the game, emo, they make the 2000 game look like a game from 2003. Perhaps Therese something newer that I have yet to see. I'll look into it later on when I can. There's two things I know are true, you will one day play a remake of Deus Ex 1 you will complain about it on Reddit. Third thing, Bomber Guy will make a 5 hour video about how it's pretty okay. The Last of Us To the Moon Silent Hill 2 To the Moon is far too unknown for how incredible its story is. And Music I still find the piano pieces just to listen to, and I think it's been 10 years since I played it. Assassin's Creed 2. My then girlfriend, who has no interest in playing games, used to watch me playing just because she was so intrigued by it. I think all the historical sites make AC especially interesting. I usually think of AC as like a virtual vacation. Hashtag X200B, with lots of murder. Hashtag X200B, but seriously, all the cool historic places and people was always the big seller to me for those games. AC 1-4 were especially amazing to me when they came out. The games are still good, the recent RPG-ish nature of M isn't my favorite gameplay-wise but the locations are still a joy to explore. Metal Gear Solid Edit, it's so satisfying to see so many people sharing their love my favorite game series, dude. You guys know how to appreciate a good game. Snake Eater was a great story. Snake, history will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true patriot. Goosebumps, every time. Bioshock had a great original story. Control. One of the only games where I read every document. New Vegas with all DLC has a pretty legit storyline in regards to the content of the DLC directly supporting the conflict between Courier 6 and Ulysses. Max Payne Half-Life, Aug to Episode 2 Everyone should play a Half-Life game before they die. I choose Half-Life 3, then. Final Fantasy 6 Each character is fleshed out, and just when you think the story is over, you realize you're only about halfway through. What Remains of Edith Finch is probably one of the best storylines I've ever played. It's great because it's so short. Everyone has the time to dedicate a few of hours and experience this unique little gem. Sticks with you. Planescape, Torment. About as ancient as I am by now but still undefeated number 1. God of War and RDR 2. Boy and Boa. Silent Hill 2 Near Replicant Automata Titanfall 2 Ocarina of Time Knights of the Old Republic 2 Firewatch Morrowind, The Last of Us, Bioshock and Final Fantasy 7 are all strong contenders. E, I feel maybe Disco Elysium as well. It's tricky, some games have a really good story as written, others have a story that's really well handled and well communicated by the game. Shadow of the Colossus has a pretty simple implied story that gets a really good treatment from the way the game reveals it, for example. The Legacy of Kane. Halo Reach is probably my favorite non-RPG shooter story. Great game. Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden West. Dishonored Series. Mass Effect Trilogy. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. Amori. The Elder Scrolls III. Morrowind. 